we are going to get down to the real. Let's talk about prenups, the good, the bad, the ugly. Hey honeybees, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, my name is Sierra and I do videos on finance and lifestyle. I'm a full-time mortgage loan officer and YouTuber and I've helped hundreds of people to buy homes and build wealth so I take everything I know and I share it with you in hopes you will build wealth also. Okay, so for today's video, I thought I would talk about something that I don't think enough people talk about. The number one reason for divorce is money and financial issues, but yet we make the topic so taboo. Let's get out of that. Today in this video, we are going to get down to the real. Let's talk about prenups, the good, the bad, the ugly, what they mean, who needs one, who doesn't need one. At the end of the video, I'll give you my personal thoughts on if I think prenups are a no or a go. So even if you're not married or getting any married anytime soon, this is definitely a video you should watch because I think this is important for you know people to talk about whether you this is something you choose to do or choose not to do. It's an important topic. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so let's first talk about what is a prenup. A prenuptial agreement, also known as a prenup, is a written contract where an engaged couple states their rights and responsibilities regarding premarital and marital assets and debts and what would happen should their marriage end in divorce or death. It's really just a roadmap of how you would deal with things should the marriage not work out. Why is a prenup important? Studies show a prenup is important because money is the number one reason that marriages fail uh, related to money issues. And so it's super important to have a hold on your finances and to talk about it early on and to be able to communicate openly about how things will go not only in the marriage financially, but should the marriage dissolve. Now, it's the opinion of experts. This is not my my personal opinion I'll go into that at the end but it is the opinion of experts that having a prenuptial agreement is a really good investment not only because it outlines a couple's finances but also because it can thwart a costly contentious divorce should the marriage not work out so let's get into the specifics of a prenup so how much does a prenup cost? Actual cost of a prenup can range anywhere from $1,500 to $10,000. You can either get it done for a flat fee or if it's more complex and requires more work, a lawyer will usually charge hourly. A prenup versus a postnup. So a prenup is going to be in a contractual agreement before marriage. A postnup is one that is done after marriage. I will talk more about that as well lately, but let's just make sure we delineate the prenup is before not before marriage postnup is after marriage now who actually needs a prenup here are some people and circumstances that financial experts people these people should very strongly consider a prenup if one or both parties has already been married typically when somebody's already been through a divorce and i can relate to this it's a gut-wrenching experience it's almost like a death and usually when people have gone through divorce they think about uh, divorce and they think about the end of a marriage uh, much more tangibly and so for that reason somebody who's already been married may feel more comfortable having a prenuptial agreement whether they plan to be together forever or if they think there's a possibility it could not work out this can provide peace of mind for those people who have already been through it and seen how messy and difficult it can be Experts agree that if one or both parties have children, a prenuptial agreement could be a good idea. So the premarital agreement can ensure that assets remain separate property and allow the party to create a living trust or will to provide for the children in the event of death. Experts also agree a prenuptial agreement may deem necessary or useful when one party is wealthier. Now this could be for a variety of reasons. One of the main reasons we understand is that a party who is wealthier may feel more comfortable marrying someone that is not as wealthy if they have that prenuptial agreement because to the wealthier party it seems as though the party who is not as wealthy is not in it for the money as opposed to for that companionship and that marriage and that love. This depends person to person. For some people, this is an issue and for some people, it's not. Experts do agree when one party is wealthier that having a prenuptial agreement 
can be useful um because it can just take away all of that doubt that person has that's a personal decision one thing to think about is that it goes both ways though so if you have one party or that is wealthier at the beginning of a marriage and you guys put together a prenuptial agreement and then things flip and the other party ends up being wealthier look at if this prenuptial is going to give both of you peace of mind or if it's going to cause issues these are things you need to be able to talk about with your partner Another situation where it may be helpful to have a prenup is if one party has more debt. So if one party has a habit of spending money and the other party doesn't want to be responsible for their debt incurred, you know, during the marriage, then a prenup can ensure that this spouse is protected against the debts of the other spouse should their marriage not work out. Again, this is something to talk about between each other and really decide if you know, it's such a significant issue that it needs a prenup and that it needs to go into the prenup. Experts also agree if one or both party owns a business, a prenuptial agreement can be helpful. And this is for so many reasons. If one or more parties owns a business, especially that was established before the two parties met or were married, they may want to protect a certain amount of interest in that business um, should the marriage not work out. And I think that's completely understandable. So definitely if both parties or one has a business, a prenuptial agreement can be almost necessary. Experts also agree that if one or both parties has an inheritance to protect a prenup can also be useful now typically if a party to a marriage receives an inheritance it's considered their non-marital property that is unless they go and put it into like a joint account the best way to maintain an inheritance separate is to keep it in a separate account altogether but some people feel that it's necessary to specify in a prenup what money should go where. Now, I'm not a lawyer, so don't take any of this as legal advice. I'm just marrying one. <laughs> it may also be necessary if one party plans on being a stay-at-home parent. It can provide security that this spouse will be taken care of in the event of a divorce. If the parent that's staying home is foregoing work or career advancement to raise a child, this puts them at a disadvantage should the marriage fail. It puts them at a disadvantage for the workplace later, so this person should be compensated accordingly. So an, a prenup can also put a safeguard in place for someone who is deciding to be the stay-at-home parent and to not make income. So when should you begin the process of signing a prenup? The time frame for entering a prenuptial agreement is different for every couple, but experts suggest finalizing one at least 30 days before the wedding date. Okay, so what's the best way to initiate the prenup conversation? I recommend that the person who initiates it be, you know, as loving as possible, come from a place of understanding as well, take as much emotion out of it as possible, and come from a place of love and compromise and understanding. I think if you start off on the wrong foot and you come at your spouse or your future partner in a way that's condescending or that's judgmental or <laughs> that's negative you're kind of setting yourself up for a battle so i think both parties should go into it open-minded you have to be able to talk about this stuff even if it's something you decide against having that conversation is necessary and just a sign of your ability as a couple to talk through difficult things you just both need to be on the same page do you need separate lawyers? Yes, yes, and yes. Doing mortgages, I often compare real estate agents to lawyers. I always advise my clients to have a real estate agent. It costs them nothing, and it's somebody that's in their corner advocating for them and for their best interest. So I think the same thing goes for any kind of legal agreements you should always have somebody who you know can look over the th look over things knows the law someone who is advocating for you and only you and can go in with your best interest in mind now there are ways that you can diy your own prenup but i would say most professionals don't advise this because you know lawyers get paid for a reason they know the law in and out and they know best how to word things they understand the process and i would just say don't ever try to do it yourself both parties need to have a lawyer that represents them can you set up terms for child support and custody in a prenuptial agreement that'd be something you have to talk about with your lawyer and as a part of your prenuptial agreement and you have to make sure that coincides with the state laws for child custody and child support and things like that but what they're seeing a lot now is people are putting in 
pet custody agreements and all sorts of things. Now, the good thing about a prenup is people can slide things in there that are very specific to their situation and addresses their specific needs and concerns. You know, some people even put in infidelity clauses. There's all sorts of things that you can do that as long as it's reasonable and holds up with the judge, you can put that in your prenup. So a lot of times you can put things in there that give you a sense of peace in the marriage that may not even be directly financially related. It could be something as simple as who's going to have custody of our pets after. You can customize it to what works best for you and your lifestyle and what your concerns are. Okay, so what are my thoughts on prenups? Should you do it? Should you not do it? Is it a good idea? Is it a bad idea? Prenups are good for people who have a lot of the reasons that experts say people need prenups. So if you guys have businesses, previous children, inheritances, property, real estate, all these things are things that I think are very reasonable to go in a prenuptial agreement. Nobody goes into marriage wanting it to end, but these are things that can give people peace of mind actually throughout the marriage and you hope it's something you never have to explore again. I think prenup is good in those situations, but I also am a firm believer of Christ and my faith and of marriage and, and what it means. And I also am very impotent empathetic to people that don't agree with prenups as long as you and your partner are on the same page that's what you should do that's what's best for you if you're somebody like i said who has significant wealth you have businesses children properties inheritances even if it's not a prenup I think a postnup is also a good idea. Postnup is after marriage. And so maybe a prenup isn't something that you feel is a great time to address those things. Maybe you want to be married and in a really solid standing in a solid place and on the same physically, mentally, spiritually on the same team before you decide these things. If you're not going to do a prenuptial or a postnuptial, having a living will and a trust is important for the transference of generations generational wealth. Either way, whether you choose to do a prenup or not, you choose to do a postnup or not, have something in writing that specifies what will happen when you die and who your wealth goes to when you die. I think those are probably some of the most important things. People should do what's best for them. Some people need prenups and it's a great idea. I think other people should not push it if it's, it's something you both don't believe in or it's not a part of your faith or it doesn't give you peace. At the end of the day, you are both on the same team and you just want to have peace and you want to be on the same page. And I think that's most important. For the people that it's not right for or they don't feel a peace about it, don't do it. I actually think that both are perfectly fine as long as you're doing what's best for you. There's many reasons not to as well. And so I think it depends on the specific relationship. So that is my thoughts on prenups wanted to give you guys just some hardcore facts as well as some things for you guys to think about i hope it was helpful definitely if you learned something or it was helpful give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe so you can be a part of the honeybee fam hit the bell button so you can be notified when i upload i respond to all comments and questions in the first 24 hours of publishing a video so make sure you've got that bell button clicked. Thank you for watching. I love you to the bank and back and I will see you in my next video.